It's been one of the most recognizable names in downtown Detroit for the past 50 years. Now the city's mayor, Mike Duggan, says the name Kobo has got to go. What does Kobo stand for? 7 Action News reporter Gino Vici is live downtown with more on the timing of this decision. What do we know, Gino, about why it's really happening now? Well, Amir, this is not the first time several months ago at the Mackinac Policy Conference, Mayor Duggan, in an hour long presentation, outlined how the city of Detroit got to where it is, how it got so bad. He talked about the racial tensions, the 67 riots, and one of the uh, main culprits of why it got to where it got to. He says the policies of former Detroit Mayor Albert Cobo. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan stating the name of arguably the most recognizable building in downtown Detroit, Cobo needs to come down because of what it stands for. I thought it was important uh, that we move away from the name Kobo in light of the history in the city. We asked some Detroiters if they knew who or what Kobo stood for. Most had no idea. Do you know where the name Kobo came from? No, sir. Are you familiar with the name Kobo and who that was? No, I was not aware of that. According to Duggan, policies in the 50s led to extreme segregation across city limits and in some cases destroyed entire communities. Mayor Duggan says it's now time for the name Kobo to go. People in this city in their 70s and 80s remember being displaced from their homes in Black Bottom and Paradise Valley uh, under uh, Mayor Cobo's plans. And we asked many people here downtown what they thought. For the most part, most agreed. Now that they know more about the city of Detroit's history, they do agree Cobo should probably be renamed. They should take it down because this is a new Detroit. This isn't the old Detroit. And now the Convention Authority Board at Cobo is selling rights to rename Kobo, something Mayor Duggan says he supports 100%. We're downtown Detroit, Gino Vici, 7 Action News.